I was asked to make this Canva thumbnail tutorial by one of our viewers, so welcome to our Canvas Crusade channel. Let's dive in without any delays. Stick around till the end for some pro tips that will make your thumbnails stand out. First, click the Create Design button and select the YouTube thumbnail design. As you can see, I already have a thumbnail I created in the past. Want to learn how? Keep watching. To make this thumbnail, I first inserted an image I uploaded to Canva. Then, I used the Animelfi app to generate the anime image. Pretty cool, right? The anime image is stored in the upload section of Canva. Next step, on a new page, I inserted my original image again. Since this image has a white background, I used Canvas Background Remover Tool to erase it. Then, I dragged the right side of the image to the center so that only half of the man's face is visible. Now, I'm dragging my anime image onto page 3 and erasing the white background of this image. The next step is to drag the left side of the anime image to the middle, and there you go, you can see half of my original image and half of my anime image. Doesn't it look awesome? For the background of this thumbnail, I used a colorful image that I like and uploaded to Canva. Here's a Canva hack for you. If you want Canva to help you create a background you're imagining, go to Elements and click Generate Your Own. For example, I'm inserting a prompt to generate a colorful background just for you to see. If you're not satisfied with the result, you can generate it again. Cool, right? Continuing with my YouTube thumbnail, I'm going to insert a line element. Watch how I do it. To insert the Canva logo, go to Elements and type Canva logo in the search bar. Then choose the image you want and place it in your thumbnail. You can see now how I included a shadow and a neon white shadow to this image. Next step, I went to the search bar in the elements section, typed 3D button, chose the one I liked, and changed the color. To insert the text that I want, I went to text and clicked add a subheading. Then, I wrote the words and chose the font, size and text effects. It's that simple.
final step is to add another neon white shadow. As you can see, I'm a big fan of this effect. Hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments if you're already using some of these tools to create your YouTube thumbnails. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and click like if you enjoyed the video. It really helps us stay motivated and continue creating content for you. Take care.